Hello there, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you just before the New York Open, 6 a.m. New York time. Last day of July. We've been on holiday for 10 days here. Uh, we're just getting back into the swing of things. Let's talk about dollar yen today. BOJ came out, did not really change policy. They left the door open for some minor tweaks, but we had a very choppy dollar yen session. If you, if you look at the five minute bar, I'll show you. I mean, we were first things first, we we're up to 28, down to 80, back to 35. I'm sorry, no, back to 05, down to 75, up to 44, down to 12, up to 45, down to 06, and now we're here above 50. We haven't been below 45 since the 50 break, but I just put this chart up to, to let people know it's been very choppy and very hard to stay long. We have a tiny, tiny long position. Uh, we've been chopped out of most of our stuff such is life. Um, based on yield and based on um, BOJ's non-change, you could argue that logically dollar yen should, should go higher. Uh, we don't have resistance until 112.07, but it is month end and it is foreign exchange, so logic often uh, does not win the day. Anyway, uh, the kill on this is, is seems pretty straightforward, below 44, uh, which was the high preceding the 50 break. So if you're long, keep an eye on that 44 number. And if you're not long, to be fair, I wouldn't chase this. Uh, it's been pretty weak at best to move higher. Elsewhere, core short stocks uh, continues to pay. No movement today. We've we've been down to 03, up to 09, so very very quiet. Uh, we'll see how this month end window dressing goes. But we had a uh, pretty bad day yesterday. Uh, Tesla down 2.3, Twitter down 8 percent, Amazon down 2, Netflix down 5.7, uh, Facebook surely down somewhere, yeah, down two. So, Facebook and Netflix, it looks pretty, uh, I wouldn't say sure, sure is a bad word, but this is on sell rally mode. Um, if you look what happened after Netflix, the Netflix bomb, we traded down to 40, and then we traded back up to 80, couldn't quite close the gap. We're looking for the same type of movement in Facebook here, so we've we went down to 76 yesterday. We made it even a bigger low at 66, but this surely will pop above 80. And between 80 and 90, you want to sell your Facebook, or maybe even between 80 and the figure. So price it accordingly. But this kind of gap, um, it's very, very hard to get filled. It's very, very powerful. There'll be loads of longs out there who are dying to get out at a higher price. So. Core short Facebook looks looks pretty good, and considering how much we hate Facebook, just uh, as a product and, and as a company, it's kind of fun to short it. So, um, you know, this is something we'll be watching very closely and, and, and happy to jump jump on board with. But as far as the indexes are concerned, um, as we were talking earlier, we like S and P futures lower. Uh, this stuff moves pretty slowly so but we're expecting another red day today uh, maybe a print down 90 93 make a little shoulder here and then uh, it gets real interesting if you get down through 27 90 so of course shorts the way and let's just see how 27 90 trades this might be uh, more of an August 2nd or 3rd trade versus a July 31st trade um, but we're just watching price and keeping a course short on the equities. Euro today, Euro GDP came in lower. Um, the inflation side of things on the HICP numbers looks a little bit higher. 
And it's, so it's a bit of a tug of war. I mean, some people will say higher inflation means higher rates. Some people say lower growth and higher inflation means means mud. Um, we do like euro lower, but we don't have a particular plan of attack here. So we're we're patiently waiting. Um, we'll be much more excited as we get prices below 116 and a quarter. Uh, and we are looking for this 115.08 to get pierced in the next, I don't know, four to six weeks. Could be payrolls that do it on Friday, but we could just go sideways for another four weeks of summer. Um, so there's something to look for. 116 and a quarter will be the beginning of that trade. Because we always look both ways, uh, and because the charts force us to look both ways, you cannot disregard the top side. Even though we're bearish, you can't disregard the top side. Prices above 117.53 or 117.51, I guess this is this high. That's pretty important. There's going to be stops up there. Um, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be... Um, that's just me stopping out of my dollar yen. Uh, that's going to be awkward and it's worth watching. Again, probably not for the month end. Uh, but it's a level worth watching going forward. CAD GDP today. This looks very susceptible to the downside. The move on the upside here was a was a news piece of news around 6:30 in the morning European time. 12:30 uh, a.m. in Toronto saying that Canada was not invited to NAFTA talks with Mexico. But this is basically a bullshit piece of news because the Trump administration had already stated that they're going to negotiate NAFTA separately between Mexico and Canada. It's not going to be a group session. Um, so what this does is this clears out quite a few shorts on this move. And if you get a strong GDP today and now after this move uh, there, there, there should be some legs here so let's keep an eye out for that a strong GDP we might want to just sell some dollar CAD depending on liquidity and and, and what's happening let's let's just have a look here uh, previous 0 0.1 monthly annualized 2.6, 2 point, between 2.4 and 2.6 looks to be the number. So expected. I'm just looking at RBC's uh, forecast. Anyway, let's dial into that, have a look on what the expected is. And consensus is 0 0.3, 2.6 annualized. So sort of zero higher, greater than, greater than 0 0.3. Uh, we want to sell some dollar cat. What else? Not much else out there. We got uh, Aussie and Kiwi not doing much. In general, been very, very quiet. BOJ made a bit of noise here with dollar yen, but um, otherwise, incredibly quiet. You could argue that this bar here in dollar Swiss is bullish. This bar, now three hours ago. But it's not doing a whole lot, right? I mean, we, we keep making higher lows, which is nice. But um, sort of stuck in the mud. Not, nothing too excitable here. Our main focus is core short stocks. And then we will have a look at this uh, dollar CAD. We just squared up our dollar yen back below 50 now. Uh, and voila, there we are. I will see you all tomorrow. I don't think our Asia guys are in, still on vacation. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at the European Open. Good luck out there. Ciao.